Welcome back guys, once again I'm going to be teaching you how to make coins on FIFA 23. So if you're new around here and you need coins to get a team like mine, all you've got to do is drop a like down below, subscribe and listen in for the rest of the video. And if you want a chance of winning one of seven copies of AFC, subscribe, send me proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. We are 120 subs away from 14k and that's when it will be announced. So get your entries in and as usual, if you need coins, in a quicker way. Well, so if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.com. GG. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PROREACALL. Go check them out below, make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it. Now of course starting off I've got 800k but some of you are going to have nothing so we of course need to build up the coins. Now I cannot stress it enough, if you've been part of the channel before you're going to know this is where we go to to start. So you've got the Board Legend and Rising Star SBCs. The reason we do these is because they are incredible cheap you're looking at sub thousand coins if you just bid on the players and you should realistically if you're not extremely new to the game you know if you if you've had it for any length of time and haven't done these SBCs before you should absolutely have these players in your club and you can see there how quick it is for me to just spam them in and complete these SBCs and what you do get is two rare gold players and they are both tradable now those packs in my opinion have the highest weight to player ratio that you'll possibly get you get some brilliant pulls sometimes they're meaty they aren't always going to be good but it's two rare gold players the minimum return is about 1.2k so at worst case scenario you're making more than what it costs to do the SBC so it's a good way to get yourself started now there's tons of icon SBCs out right now I have completed almost every single one when there is one that I haven't completed I always complete it on a video to show you guys as well don't worry guys I'm not a weirdo just, just see what I did there I'm not a weirdo I will also show you other methods to start this up I'm not just going to go one and gun and say you've got to do that we do of course have some diversity in the method so that you can start no matter where you're at and no matter what you have in your club i understand some of you might have nothing which is why this might not necessarily work now if you do have nothing obviously you've got to build the coins up in a certain way so of course the options really are div rivals where you get the immediate coin rewards for completing a game and then you also get that potential tradable reward when rivals rewards comes out then you've also got qualifications for foot champs that's probably the easier one for a more immediate reward even if you lose your champs qualifications you do get a tradable reward now we are gonna just for the moment sell that so much. don't worry i've got some quick sell recoveries available we're going to open these two packs just to show you how good they can be and of course remember as well you've got squad battles that's another option where you do get that kind of tradable reward back from it here we got fernandez and schick so fernandez that's a thousand coins so not great not bad at all schick we're looking at what 12 almost 12k we'll say we'll say 10 we'll, we'll, i'll give you i'll be fair we'll say 10 so we just made 10k off of essentially what was it what 1k investment so very very simple now i'm not going to sit here and say you're going to get 10k every time but 10k is not much for a player on the market you could have got a shapeshifter you could have got any loo of special cards or an 88 an 89 so there is absolute potential in these i mean the second one there we've probably made about 2,000 coins out of that one as well. Now I'm going to send them both off to my transfer list to be used in future, but you can see between the two of them about 15k return now of course i cannot stress enough if you're not doing it already go to the store every day check your preview packs out because once again that's somewhere where you can get some real value now what we are going to do is a themed episode today so we are going to be looking at espanol so first of all what's a basic spanish method that you can use in the prem there isn't many spanish players in the prem but you've got trial rate you're going to have moreno uh, you've got poro as well there but of course these guys are all absolutely dirt cheap you can't really do a method out of them now once you have 10k of course really simply you can take yourself to a minimum of 10 to 50 you've got tiago you've got laporte you've got rodri so you've got an 86 an 86 an 87 you'll also have the hair there so a really nice method to get yourself started off on unfortunately you can't do that with the lower end of things because those guys are worth literally nothing so you kind of got to do a little bit of a build up to get here before you can transfer over to that now of course in the other leagues where we've got things like la liga santander or even if you take yourself over to league one there are some nice spanish filters so if you go to psg what you're going to find is you've got sola fabian and of course Ramos, Sola Fabian are going to be the ones that come up most. So that's kind of your, your bread and butter with this one. You're probably looking at what? couple couple thousand coins at most see look a k for an 83 that's brilliant so realistically go down to maybe 950 you're going to list them up at 1.2 60 coins ea tax very very easy profit so that's one of them ones really simply done and there's not a lot to it now of course spain mostly is going to be found in la liga santander so you can find options there you might want to go for example for 
defender um, and Real Madrid. I want to say the, the Real Madrid defender that our Spanish have a decent value. So you've got Carvajal and you've got Fernandez there. So you do have options, obviously, Vasquez on the cheaper side. But all of these players will go for, I believe, at least a thousand. Yeah, so at least a thousand coins minimum. So you're looking at an easy profit there. You've got Fernandez going there, and you can see some of them are being listed at min price, which means you do have the opportunity to make absolute bank. Now, of course, when you do want to kind of improve this, what you can do is if you put minimum of 10,250 Spanish and Real Madrid. So once again, not Real Madrid, Spanish and Liga Santander, you could kind of get put in the same position. So we do want to obviously get out the defenders there. Now we see there are some lower rated cards in this. So obviously you might want to find the positions where the cards are higher rated. Obviously we've got a lot of 85s there. Barcelona is probably a good shout. Now of course 85s are hinging on that 10k mark right now. So you kind of, you don't have a huge base of profit, but what you might want to do is actually start with some of the bidding. That's probably the better place to be doing it with these ones now of course these players will go up so if you take your time to do some bidding now you will find in the near future you should be in a much better position now a good face to go from the start obviously if we go to special you can kind of have a look at what you've got here now of course that's not spanish so we do need to set that up on the spanish filter and um, but then what you'll find is play players like abanez here who if we have a look over on the foot bin and i hope they don't shove ads in my face right now so hopefully Ibanez, let's have a look 14k has a 13.8 minimum which is unfortunate but what we will do to counter that is we're going to pop our way over to heroes so heroes is a nice little one because you've got cap de Velia and you've also got the likes of i'm gonna forget the name but i know it's a striker i want to say Let's have a look. We've got Morientes. I knew I'd get it just before. So Morientes there, both of these really low value method, literally under the 20K mark. You've got both of these boys. 20K is for caps. You've got 18 there. I would say he's going for 20K realistically. So if you can get them for 18, that 18K is probably a steal. So as you can see, it was a steal enough for it to go before we got there. You can realistic, I mean, popping it at 19K, you're not going to make a lot of profit. So you want to probably do 18 is a good mark because it's a minimum of a K per card. So I'd say that's probably where you want to be. At worst case, 18, 250, because that means 750 coins per card. But bear in mind, they're lower end heroes. There's a chance that they won't sell on as easily. So you don't want to be taking too much risk with these guys. Now, obviously, you can take yourself through a lot of specials. And of course, they do have, I believe, uh, a little selection let me have a look if we go over to uh, our new icons we've got obviously the shapeshifter icon i do believe that there is some spanish ones here as you can see we've got herrero both his variations so that's a nice little one you can do is there another icon there or is it just herrero because i swear i just saw oh no okay it's just to do different images for him so if you take yourself over i want to say to the 50k mark yeah these guys are really really low so 50k spanish and the shapeshifter icon you're looking at about 43 there you can snipe them for i think as low as 10 so if you go 43 do a bit of compare price see if you can grab yourself a 40 uh maybe a 39 these icons are very easy to snipe so you're not going to have much difficulty another thing which right now is going to be really rife for just easy profit is team of the seasons because right now you've got a tradable team of the season pack so if you take yourself over to this one you're not going to have to worry about it not being very profitable because tradable tots pack more tots on the market more availability and tots right now have just gone up i don't know why um, i think it's just constant requirements in sbcs i've got a ton still because i've basically not been playing the game so for me, it's not really as much of a drought as I, I seem to notice it is for everyone else, um, which is a win for me, but obviously it does seem like uh, everyone else is having a bit of a trouble, which means these cards are more valuable. If you pop this to 32, you are looking to probably sell them for 36. EA tax on that, EA, EA, K? EA tax is about 2K. So you're making about 2K per card if you sell them on a 36. 35 is about 1K, a little bit more than that. So you really do have a good birth of profit on these methods and they're really on the low end. You don't have to do much for it. Of course, I don't think there are any other Spanish Prem other than De Gea, so there's not really much you can do on the Prem side. It's always nice to give the Prem attempt there, but there is moments from Spain. So you do have a couple of them. You've got Gallon, you've also got Lorente. Um, do we have anyone kind of in between to bridge the gap? Not really, but it's still doable. Of course, unfortunately, you're not really going to see much of Lorente, but if you do, it's an absolute steal. So you've taken what is essentially a huge dump if you do get your hands on one of him. Obviously, we've done a little bit of a theme of nations there, guys. If you prefer that, let me know because it's easily doable. Just gives you a little bit more diversity in the filters. So it does seem like Galan is actually quite a good one to snipe. I would advise going for him probably over anyone. It does seem like they're a little bit easier than Tots because some of the SBCs require 
touch and not touch moments. Now, looking at other places we can go, I want to say Fantasy Foot Heroes must have. So you've got Fernando Morientes and you've also got Cantavelia. So this one, obviously, once again, you are looking at the lower end hero. Unfortunately, with the other method, Cantavelia is on the bottom, Morientes on top. On this one, a little bit of a change. I mean, 67k down to, what's that, 60? How much? Ooh, that's not a bad... 60, 60k is worth 70. It's it's a it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk, but it's potential. So I would say if you do a little bit of compare price, what you might find is it's actually worth doing. What you can do is I want to check. I want to say we do have some centurions. We do indeed. So you've obviously got Aspas, Aspas Quetta. Once again, nice little one. Spanish is really a good place to take most filters. Foot birthday icon, nothing. Obviously, not really much to do on the foot birthday icon side. Koke and Ure here, but we've got two versions of Koke and we've got one version of Ure. So because there's essentially three cards, that's a nice little filter as well. You've got quite a lot of cards on there rather than just being the two because you've got the variations of Koke. It is a little bit easier. I want to say they didn't have... Oh, they do have... Wow, they've actually got a nice selection of future stars here as well. So Nation Trader is probably the better one to do at the minute because you can go price to price budget to budget and you can really push your way up through the budgets now if you're sitting here and you're thinking well i wanted higher value don't worry we do have that coming throughout the week and all you got to do to see more is subscribe and that gives you a chance at a free game it's a win-win so make sure to do that make sure to check everything out of course subscribe if you're new drop a like down below and have a great day i'll see you guys tomorrow